A man gets home after a long day of work. He eats dinner alone as he scrolls through social media. He's bombarded with video after video of couples enjoying life together. Ugh, I wish dating wasn't so impossible. I just don't have the time. Tsai, who is much smaller than the man, jumps out of his phone. The man is shocked to see him. Come with me. But, Sai? For the sake of your future... Sai snaps their fingers, teleporting them somewhere else with a zap. They get transported to a house that looks exactly the same. The lovesick man is amazed at first. This is just my house. And there you are. This universe's version of the man is sprawled out on a couch, looking messy. Sai and the man look over his shoulder and see him texting multiple people at the same time. The man gets up and they all go to. The man looks over at a woman at the bar. She seems to be there on her own until a man, her boyfriend, joins her. The alternate lovesick man looks away and sighs. The original lovesick man, watching on, is perplexed. He leans over to Sai and whispers, Sai, what is this? Sai snaps their fingers, teleporting them. Zap. They are instantly transported back to the original house. Sai, did you just use the power of multiversal travel to show me another world where I'm completely alone? No, I use the power of multiversal travel to show you a world where you have time. How is that supposed to help me? It takes more than just time to find love. It depends on how you use the time you have. I know, but right now I can only ever meet people through work and dating co-workers isn't allowed. So I clicks their fingers. Zap. This universe's lovesick man is packing up his desk. Let me guess. In this world, I got fired for dating a co-worker. Not exactly. Another employee walks up to this universe's lovesick man. She's sort of timid, but she has a small note in her hands. Hey, it would be a shame not to see you around. I know you'll do great at your new job. Congrats, by the way. She pauses. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to give you this. It's the name of a little place where me and some friends meet. We'll be there on Friday. I was hoping you might join us. The lovesick man reads the note. Gonna miss you, so make sure we still hang out. Judge and jury bar, quiz night, Friday, 8 p.m. Hope you can make it. X. The lovesick man looks up from the note and smiles. Zap. So if I want to date someone, I have to find a new job? <laughs> Not at all. The point is that you're always meeting people, even if you don't realize it. As you move through your life, there are always going to be people around you. Okay, so you're telling me I do have enough time for dating and I'm capable of meeting people. But if I can only date people I've met when I leave my job, it'll take years. There are always other ways of meeting people. Sai zaps them to another universe. The lovesick man says hi to someone at the bookstore. She smiles at him politely and walks away. He tries to talk to a waitress. She walks away. While getting groceries, he says hi to another shopper. She hurriedly walks away. Sai and the original lovesick man watch on as he fails. Sai zaps them back to the main universe. I guess man can't just strike up a conversation with women, but women probably wouldn't start a conversation with men either. The average person doesn't want to be hit on while they're at work or trying to get errands done. Luckily, there are places specifically for dating and finding people. Sai is about to snap their fingers, but the man interrupts. Please don't tell me you mean dating apps. I can use those. Why not? Well, I mean, they don't work, right? At least not for me. The only guys who succeed are ultra-rich, shredded guys who have more confidence than I could ever handle. That's not me. I don't need to take us to another universe to know what your problem is. While it's true the women seem to have an easier time on dating apps than men, if you haven't tried, then maybe the greatest hurdle in your way is your self-esteem. It's easy to get tricked by social media into thinking you aren't desirable. The way you view yourself can affect your approach to relationships. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Rejection can mess with your self-esteem. Negative self-esteem can make you feel like relationships aren't worth pursuing. Sai so pulls out a piece of paper. Uh, take a look at this literary review, for example. Studies show us that high self-esteem doesn't just help with popularity and attractiveness. Your relationships could last longer and be more fulfilling when there are fewer issues with self-esteem. Not to mention, high self-esteem can help you improve your persistence, so you won't give up so easily. So the key to making dating seem less impossible is to improve my self-esteem? Improving your self-esteem is easier said than done, but it is one way to make dating a little easier. The best way to improve your self-esteem is by working on yourself, loving yourself, caring about yourself, and pursuing the life you want. Come with me. 
Sai snaps their fingers. Zap. Sai takes the man to a world where the man focuses on himself. He works out a little, goes hiking in his free time, and spends time with friends from work. He looks happy. One day, someone new joins their friend group. They make eye contact. They fall in love. That doesn't have to be some alternate universe. See, dating today feels impossible because being a full, well-rounded individual feels impossible. To fix modern dating, the best we can do is have patience, look after ourselves and continue to allow ourselves to fall in love. Yes, dating someone at work isn't allowed, but you probably won't be at that job forever. Yes, finding the time and money to be romantic seems like a daydream, but that applies to everyone. The right person will understand and is probably thinking about that too. Don't listen to social media. Not only does it give you a warped view of what your role in a relationship is, but it also makes you think there are specific criteria you need to meet in order to even be an option for dating. If there is someone you like or truly love, there is always a way to make it work, as long as they feel the same way. And if you haven't met someone yet, there's so much you can do for yourself to make you feel worthy, which you already are. But build your confidence. Live the life you want and love will follow. A study published in the Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin found that the best way to motivate yourself for self-improvement is to have self-compassion. Self-improvement is really just the pursuit of a more fulfilling, well-rounded life. Just remember that love takes time. Whether you're learning to love yourself or want to love someone else, approach it with care and compassion. Thanks, Sai. Anytime. Oof, now I need to teach someone about their attachment style, so I better get going. Good luck. Sai climbs back into the man's phone. He waves at the man and jumps back into the phone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know by leaving a like. What has been the biggest challenge in modern dating for you? Let us know in the comments. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. Good luck. See you next time.